Ahoy there listeners and welcome to another side mission Mm -hmm. for the Captain's Horror Meltdown. My name is Cammy, and as ever I'll be your captain on this journey and I'm joined by John who today is (laughs) our pharmacist. Oh really? I think you might have been. Have you been a pharmacist before? You've been a surgeon. I think I've been a, been um, a subject medical person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like total shit. So <laughs> you've just been handing out cold and flu tablets to me. All right, okay. Um, which has been nice. Very, very kind of you. And um, <laughs> being a side mission, we're actually we've left the ship. Okay. And we have travelled off to see the film today. On uh, we've travelled there by tying ourselves to a massive bunch of red balloons. Oh, ninety-nine red balloons. Uh, yeah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've floated off to see uh, this week's uh, big horror release, which is It Chapter Two. Yes, um, and we're just going to get straight into it, really, aren't we? I think. I think pretty much I've had some troubles. Um, so. Yeah, you well, uh, yeah. So I, yeah, I, I'd say as a sort of uh, precursor going into this. I don't really remember what we thought of the first one. No, I, I remember, I've got to be totally honest, I've not seen it since I saw it in the cinema. No, neither have I. Um, and I think we thought it was probably okay in a I kind think of... I'm pretty sure I enjoyed it at the time, from enjoyed memory. It, yeah, in a sort of a, sort of movie version of Stranger Things sort of way. Yeah, <laughs> and it had a, <clears throat> well, there was quite a good Hamer's incident during that one, so I do remember oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, it's sort of the first one... Been about a sort of ragtag bunch of kids called the Losers Club. Yeah, in fact, uh, one of the guys all... is in Stranger Things, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, no, yes, he is actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, and their battle against a supernatural demon called Pennywise. Yep. Who tends to appear as a clown? Um, so yeah, uh, the film that I mean, were lots of people waiting on part two coming out? I think so. I mean, it's been. I think. I mean, the the first. One I mean, the first did, one did really well, didn't did, it? Did big business, didn't it? Not. Yeah, yeah, it did. did. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think to be honest, um, I mean, I was in like a what? I think we both went to the same sort of time showing. I went to what's yeah. it, five to seven. Five and, to seven. I went to five to seven as well. And yeah. I would say all the prime seats were full. That's like uh, yes, it was. Uh, like it was five a, to it was seven pretty... on a Wednesday. <laughs> It's like, yeah, okay, so it must be doing all right. I totally. I, I was in the. Um, I've come to quite like. Uh, I go, as everyone will know, regular listeners will know. I've got a very cheap chain cinema nearby yep, or on yep. the way home from work. Uh, the View, uh, who, who we're not sponsored by, but if they do want to sponsor us, <laughs> that'd be great. Um, the, um, and I've got to quite like if what's effectively the front row seats. All right. Okay. So they've always they've sort of always got. And this, this, all the screens in this cinema that I've been to so far have basically you've got the screen, you've then got a couple of disabled chairs, right. and then space behind that, which is a sort of the seats are all raised up behind that, and so the front row is actually probably about, I'd say about four rows from the from the screen anyway, right, in a traditional cinema. So yeah, I was uh, sat. So even though I was sat in the front row, I've I've got to. I, I, I can tend to always be able to get a seat, and I pre-booked and got my sort of middle of the front row, and the entire front row was packed. Oh really? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, which is pretty unusual for a front row. And uh, yeah, looking behind on the way out, the cinema was pretty packed as well. I don't know if it was quite sold out, but no, no, it wasn't grand. certainly sold out. I mean, it, <laughs> I I went to the view as well, um, and they've got the. They've all changed. I think, obviously, I've mentioned this as well many times. They've changed all the seats into the kind of re- leather recliners. Yeah, that's um, what happened in the Glasgow one. Yeah, but uh, they, they've now started doing a different tier pricing for them. Oh yeah, they've got the fancy ones that are sort of more optimal. No, no, I mean the seats are all the same, but right, it just depends what where role. the cinema you are. Yeah, <laughs> um, right. So, so where are the cheap seats? Um, cheap seats are probably the first third of the cinema I would say God I'd um, be totally sorted then. yeah you would you would so that's about that's less than seven quid uh, I opted I like to be more middle so I spent right, okay. an extra this is so ridiculous an extra 85 pence <laughs> <God>. <laughs> 
I mean, the thing is, it wasn't that long ago that uh, it was quite normal to spend like 12 quid going to the cinema during yeah, the week. Yeah, yeah. But it's just been a total price crash in well, the that's cinema. It. I mean, my, my, my optimal seat still cost me less than eight quid. Yeah, so, but if you wanted a hot dog, that would be a tenner. Oh, at least. That's where they're making the money. Every, I'll tell you another thing. Right, we will get into the <laughs> Every fucker in that screen had, mm-hmm. like, came in with armfuls of totally. popcorn, hot dogs, t- nachos, b- like, party sized buckets of pop. Yep, yep. Just, like, unbelievable amount of fucking junk going down. Yeah, it's um, incredible. And, Mine was the same. Mine was the same. And then, sort of halfway through, once I finished the popcorn and the nachos and all that, out come the bags of sweets at the bottom. Mm. Right? <laughs> Must be spending a fucking fortune. Yeah, I usually oh, get a wee God. sort of pick and mix, but um, I was against time today, so I just had to get oh, straight to the cinema. Oh, you do like a pick and mix, don't you? I do, I do. Yeah. And I actually nice. felt like Hamish being not be able to make it. I thought I might be sort of cheating on him slightly, so I didn't actually get any. Oh, God. Um, well. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd recommend the pick and mix. Anyway, <laughs> uh, good. Uh, well, I'll try one next time. Yeah, um, I uh, obviously, as as with all our little side missions, are usually uh, reasonably brief little soirees. Yep. Um, let's get into the film. Yep. Uh, I'm going to give it a. I'm going to give it the letterboxed summary. Okay. Here. Good. Good. Well, plot synopsis. It's chapter two. 27 years after overcoming the malevolent supernatural entity Pennywise, the former members of the Losers Club, who have grown up and moved away from Derry, are brought back together by a devastating phone call. Yes. So there you go. I, I, well, worth pointing out to listeners in Ireland that it has nothing to do with uh, <laughs> any anywhere called Derry in Ireland. No, 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 absolutely. <laughs> it's, set in, it's set in Maine, as all <laughs> Stephen King things are, I think. Yep. Um, so, yep, uh, we're basically. Uh, I, I'm just going to say it straight away. I, I find this film quite boring. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, and the reason I find it quite boring is it's felt like exactly the same film again, mm-hmm. but with just older people. Yeah, yeah, no, I can understand that. I think um, I was a bit, I was less invested in the, old, in the older people than I was the younger people. Yeah, I think. Uh, they were just going to do the same thing again. Yeah, it's like I think, assemble I the I, squad I, and let's go in again. Yeah, oh. no, I, yeah, I, 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 I do understand that. Um, uh, I didn't find it boring though. Um, but yeah, um, I would agree. I probably wasn't invested as much in the adult characters as I was the kids. Even like the flashback to the kids was actually slightly more interesting than yes, the, the adult yeah, oh, actors, yes. Um, of which there were many. Which probably contributed to the mammoth running time of nigh on three hours. <sighs> it was just completely unnecessary. It's way too, way too long. In a way, I, I, in, a, you, in a way, I, I didn't mind it because I, I was, I, I kind of wanted to rewatch the first one because I was like, I don't right. really remember very much about it. So did it not all start coming back? <sighs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I mean I was I was actually vaguely thankful for those kind of flashbacks to what happened in the first one I was like right if they hadn't put that in I'd be fucking clueless right now uh, yeah I think I'd, I think I'd maybe go back and say maybe not boring because you know it was you know entertaining enough to watch the whole film but I would just say that it was uh, I'll just say that I, I don't think I'll ever watch that fil- this film ever again no, um, if I if I saw it on TV, I'd be like, nah, can't be bored. If it, if it appeared on Netflix, nah, can't be arsed, can't be arsed with that. Well, three I, hours. you know, Netflix isn't a three-hour place, is it? Let's be honest. Nah, it's not. No, unless you're watching uh, a, a sort of it, three hours of uh, TV shows back to back or something. Yeah, obviously, obviously. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the film basically just sort of jumps. Well, starts out with a, a fairly horrible murder. Um, yep. Uh, homophobic um, beating. That was, that was actually quite interesting. So one of the warnings that came up when the fifteen stuff came yes, up was uh, discrimination. I, I was like, discrimination. Oh, I, I don't, did, think, I've, don't uh, think I've seen that before. No, I've not seen that either. Um, and I, I think it's coming for a lot of flack uh, that scene, and right. it is very, very horrible. Um, and I think a lot of people have rushed to defend it by saying, "Well, it's in the book." Um, I've not read the book. I'm sure it is in the book. I think the problem I have with it is that 
with that opening scene is it's never returned to ever again in the film yeah I find uh, yes I was expecting it to come no, back to that there's no there's no comeback for any of that at all there's no, re- guys there's no retribution there's no, for the guys no, that have dealt that out no and I was no. that, that is disappointing uh, fair massively enough. disappointing that might, that might not have been in the book but I think in this day and age they maybe should have addressed that yeah or just make it a, a beating for another reason like you know like they've taken the piss out of his hat or something instead yeah. of it being a sort of uh, a homophobic being anyway um, that's a pretty nasty start it's good to see old Pennywise back though isn't it mm-hmm. I've got to be honest I was actually I, I remember you know it's a difficult people of our age because obviously we're pretty ok with the original yeah um, and yeah it doesn't matter what you do you're not going to out Tim Curry Tim Curry really are you nah you're not, are you um, not? so I mean you know the, um, Skarsgård there's got a, it's got a fucking hefty job, but he does well. He does. He does well. well. The boy does good, like he does good. And that's the thing when you I would, it, it, when you that after that first murder, I mean the guy's looking over the river and sees Pennywise back. You're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, Pennywise, here he is, here he is again. Old yeah, cheeky it, chops himself. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the, I, I'll say watching this film made me just want Carol Clown from Outer Space too, more. Right. Okay. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but um, there was a chat about it, or was there a chat there about a TV chat. series or something? I can't remember. Oh what. God knows! Ah, it's, it's probably never going to happen, though, is it? No, it'd be madness. I mean, well, I'll tell you, and then what? So once, once, uh, well, before you come out with some spoilers, haven't we? Yeah, I don't think well, that's I mean, a big one. No, I think we no. won't, won't, there won't be any spoilers we'll after that, really. Yes. I don't think. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, there's lots of uh, lots of Pennywise action, and then the sort of the old gang get back together again, don't they? Yeah. Uh, the old losers club and all come back together again and there's some like fairly interesting stuff about like uh, their memories and things like that but um, holy shit they've assembled quite a heavy hitting uh, team of actors for this haven't they they have um, that was interesting I can remember well so I watched the trailer with the uh uh, the trailer came on TV and Rachel was there and she was like absolutely bewildered by James McAvoy being in it because she was like why does he yeah. have quite it was weird because she was like why does he have to do this and I was like well it's a pretty big film to be honest <laughs> yeah it's, it's, I suppose it. I suppose because it's a genre film is what maybe is slightly weirder yeah. like slightly weird especially the thing because I mean it's a straight up like unashamed horror film yeah you know, big budget mainstream horror film, um, and you've got McAvoy, Jessica Chastain, and Bill Hader. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty heavy hitting. There's no question about it. None of whom I really think of at all as anything to do with horror films. Yeah, even remotely. I sp- maybe that's you know maybe that's one of its interesting points. One of its kind of more maybe. yeah, because they are yeah you wouldn't expect them to really see them in something like that, even though it is obviously brilliantly produced and very well made oh, um, yeah I mean well that's another thing I mean like for my for my I think yeah my, my whole thing was that I just don't really care about these characters as adults really yeah, yeah. I don't think I didn't have any investment in, in it at all Um, the it, there's no doubting that it's a well made film though slick oh it's beautiful yeah but, but again could be could just have a bit of a TV movie vibe to it as well in some ways not uh, in terms of the actual luxuriousness <coughs> of the production or anything but mm-hmm. it's still all very contained in quite a small sort of set of environments and stuff yeah yeah I can yeah I could probably yeah. get that yep um, yep but yeah no, I mean I you know taking myself out of the film and just like looking at it I was like oh, man I mean it is a, I mean it is there's so many nice touches in it and it is a really nice looking movie That's yeah. <clears throat> to be, yeah I tell you what I would go back to watch that in if I got a 4K projector I probably would go back to watch that because I bet it looks fucking amazing in 4K yeah and this isn't a spoiler actually but um, well, presumably the cinemas that we presumably the view cinemas are 4K digital projectors I'm guessing uh, that so, are yeah. but uh, did you notice right at the very start there's uh, like a lovely little shot going up the river and you can see the salmon swimming in the river yeah 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 yeah, yeah it was really really <coughs> incredible like the, the detail the, was really quite the detail was quite, yeah, yeah, and and quite phenomenal so, and a lot of the effects are just like yeah just like wow <clears throat> It's uh, it is it is at times pretty spectacular to watch. Yeah, I mean a lot. I, uh, yeah, coming to the effects, <clears throat> I was going to ask that. I was going to ask you about that. So it's it's quite gory in places. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, m- mostly CGI effects, from what I could tell. Yep, really. I'd say so. Mostly yep, CGI. Yep. I don't like CGI blood so much. It's not good. No, but it's not great. Some drippy blood. <clears throat> But like lots of quite interesting, quite psychedelic uh, special effects. Totally. I mean, I think the uh, one thing that really struck me is it was really imaginative. You know, no yeah. question about it. There's like a lot of the little 
creature details and stuff, and especially that scene where they all kind of meet together for the first time. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, in yeah, the, yeah, in the, yeah. In the, in the Chinese restaurant, and if you've seen the original, you'll be a fan with the fortune cookie part. But man, they really go to town. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they yeah, really yeah. go to town, and that's really quite cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'll, like, the, the I would say as well that with something like this, if you're a sort of horror fan, you go into it knowing you're reading when the scares are going to come. Yeah, I yeah. would still say there's a <clears throat> that, like you know, and you've still got that thing. There's a couple of points in it that you know there's a scare <clears throat> coming up. It's quite an obvious scare coming up, and you know what it's going to be, and it still manages to be quite scary. Yeah, like, well, totally. Quite totally that yeah. I think it's I think it's just because it's, it's you know it's, it's you know shot really nicely, and obviously with a bit of an affection for the genre, without question. And uh, yeah, you're totally right. It's like I see where this scare is coming, but it still got me. Fuck. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. A lot of them are sort of like really signposted for a long time, and then you know it's coming, and you can see it coming, and they keep teasing it, keep teasing it, and then it comes. Yeah. I will just say that if you... Uh, the, yeah, there's a bit with a naked old lady that just actually oh, probably, wow. properly gave me... The, they give me the fear properly uh, I, properly scared uh, me. I'll get on to that in a bit but wow what a scene that is um, <coughs> absolutely spectacular yeah um, quite wild so yeah I think it's interesting when you get into it's kind of it's very much a film of three parts I think you've kind of got the introduction of the characters getting back together getting back together again um, and then um, you've got this sort of like them going eff effectively you've got them all going on a separate mission as well yeah, so then, I, yeah without going too much so it's into like it vignettes it's, that it is, it's, then, it's kind of like it's a yeah I find it was, it was the, the sort of second third of the film is just a bunch of set pieces it's really quite odd disjointed yeah. in a way yeah um, it's almost like little short films which I quite liked but it was the I think the flow was weird about it. The flow was very weird, and once the once I'd sort of once I realised that was going to be layout of it, which you suddenly, which you realise sort of when the second one starts, I guess you're kind of like, oh, hold on, we're going to have to sit through one of these for each of the characters. Yeah, but let's be honest, the first one is fucking spectacular. Yes, um, involving now what's I can't remember her name. Uh, what's her name in the film? Jesus Christ, Who, the character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I can't remember. That's terrible. Oh no, hold on, hold on. I'll be able to tell you here. Oh uh, no, I can't. Beverly Marsh. Uh, Beverly. Bev, Be yeah. Bev. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Bev. So she's the first one that has to go through one of these kind of little, almost like a wee short film, and it's fucking amazing. I really, really loved that one. Um, yeah, it was good. It was uh, real Sam Raimi vibes about it. Um, it did have some. It did have some Raimi vibes. Yeah. Yeah, and honestly, I was just like shit. For me, that was the best part of the film. That five minutes or ten minutes, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, oh man, it was so well done. It was just fucking brilliant and just weird as fuck. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. I think that was the best out of a lot of them. Um, what did you make of? Um, what did you make of Stephen King in this film? Oh, it was nice. It was nice to see him in there. Nice little touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice touch. Um, he, he looks pretty wigged out these days, right enough. He does. He's never looked entirely normal. Let's be fair. But um, well, no. yeah, totally. It's got it's got, it's got a real it's got, it's got real daddy or gentle vibe about him. Oh, he certainly does, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh shit! Uh, when I was in uh, Milan uh, over uh -huh. the over the weekend, there it was uh, our gentle's birthday. Oh, all right. I had a little celebratory drink. Seventy nine years old, I believe. How many celebratory drinks did you have? Seventy nine. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's part of the reason I'm not well I think I lowered my uh, my immune system so badly that yeah. absolutely destroyed yourself yeah what, totally your body not being used to Milan at the best of times <laughs> And exactly then, and I believe and I, you, did you partake in some tent super I did I was served some without, I just asked for a beer just like a pint of beer and I was served a pint of tenant super oof fucking wrecked nine percent man yeah it's it's, it's one of my about uh, uh, it's uh, how would i describe tent super if you're not fair with tent super think uh carlsberg special brew that kind of vibe yeah or um, uh kessel super or something like that. Just, yeah uh, super, if it, yeah over uh, over here they're called super laggers i don't know what they're called in the states or anything like that but i've no idea yeah, but very do, very strong laggers yeah i do remember being really wigged out by the time i've only been to milan once but um completely taken aback by the presence of tent super which is basically 
an alcoholics drink here in Scotland. Yeah, but it's like sort of quite trendy over there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's treated as like a fine Belgian beer, that kind of Man, vibe. Man, I, do you know, the the, the point that we me most uh, <laughs> at the weekend was uh, we'd all been out drinking all night and we stopped off at a kebab shop right. to get a kebab on the way back to the apartment. And they had a fridge full of beer and... I'd say about half of the fridge was full of tenant super. Jesus. It was like the equivalent of going into a bar here and, you know, and they're ha- just being stocked with Peroni, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, that sort of like, you know, it was just sort of like, oh, this is the trendy beer. It's tenant super. It's like, just unbelievable, insane. man. I, 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 can't even, I, I don't think I've even seen tenant super in its native country for, I can't even remember how <laughs> long. No. God knows. Anyway, Shit. but Jeez. yeah, very anyway, strange. Back, very to, strange. back to it. Um, I was going to ask you what you thought of the soundtrack, um, uh-huh. and the only the reason I'm asking that question is I can't remember the soundtrack. Um, no, what is the soundtrack? I don't. Is remember it just it an orchestral soundtrack? I'm going to. Is s- there a soundtrack? Is I. That's who knows. I wish I hadn't asked me that question because I've got absolutely no answer. And we we're both literally just out of the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember a bloody thing. Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, certainly no. It didn't. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a soundtrack that was overwhelming in that soundtrack. I think it was just very yeah. much kind of uh, organic with what was happening on the screen. So, um, from what I can remember, there was nothing particularly outstanding about it. Um, just it was fine whatever <laughs> yeah 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 totally um, and uh, yeah I mean I don't really know I don't really know where else I can go with this oh really yeah so I mean were you bored as in like wishing it I would mean, end <laughs> oh no no and I didn't check my watch at any point mm-hmm. but I will say that I went to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood last night yeah which is only 10 minutes shorter and I didn't even remotely think about the time at any point. Yeah, it just completely zipped by. This didn't. It felt there's quite a few points where I was like, "Oh God, okay, just come on, let's get to the next bit, let's get to the next bit." Um, I mean, for me, I kind of go, go the opposite way. I mean, I I, uh, I thought it, this one zipped by for me. I was I was yeah. fucking fearful, really fearful of a three hour film. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> the first time in my entire life I've ever had to go for a shit in the cinema <laughs> in, um, what, in this, you actually went in the screen yeah I just just where I was sitting just uh, in a cup yeah no no <laughs> just just let it spread across the seat oh man uh, <laughs> no I just uh, <clears throat> went for what I would describe as a perfectly normal shit but at that point it was like I wonder how long I've been in here for and it had been two hours it was like holy shit we're always <laughs> what you were in the toilet you were in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the film's set by for I know, that, saw the movie. That's why, that's why it was hazy for me. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, I, I've never been for a shit in the cinema before. But no. I <laughs> did have to go. At that point, I did uh, check my watch, and uh, the shitting situation got slightly worse. But thankfully, the film was finished by that point. Um, oh, but yeah, I, checked, I looked at my phone and was like, wow, I've been here for two hours, and I did not expect that. I mean, I was, I was fearful of looking at my screen it was saying I've been in for an hour but <laughs> I think if anything <clears throat> it may be dragged a touch after that um, yeah. but I think those little, that little vignettes of the people going through their various missions actually kept me pretty intrigued all the time well at least they're changing you know it's going to change in 10 minutes or whatever there's going to be another one you know mm-hmm. so um, yeah I mean I think I think my ongoing problem really is that I am um, I'm just like, why do things have to be so long all the time? Yeah, I mean, this is a shock to the system for me. I've not been to see a film that length for, wow, a long, long time. Um, I mean, we'd, we'd, and they're talking about putting parts one and two together into one film. Oofed. Which right. would surely be in at like at least five hours. Well, <coughs> my, my initial kind of idea was to, uh, I think on the Wednesday last week, there were quite a few cinemas showing. Uh, one a and two as a, double, as a double oh. bill before the release of the official release of the second one and I was like oh, maybe I'll do that and madness the, madness. the one I was looking at <laughs> started at half past nine and I was like I'm out I am fucking yeah. out absolutely no way man because uh, that's you know you're 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 not kicking the arse of six hours there 
Ah, oh, no, it's brutal, man. And like Rachel I said mean, to me, said like, she goes, well, you've, you know, you go to Dead by Dawn and you sit in a cinema all day, so it can't be that bad. I was like, yeah, but the films don't go on for three hours at a time. You've, yeah, got, like, you've got like maybe a 90 minute film and then a 45 minute break and then and the you same go for again. A pint. Yeah. Yeah. And, but this is just going to be unbearable. <laughs> I mean, I'd be interested to see if they could chop it up into like maybe maybe six would be too neat, but like say maybe five episodes, yeah, and and release it as a sort of episodic thing that you'd get on Netflix or something. Do you know what I mean? And actually, Bertie was saying to me tonight when I got back that the book actually jumps between timelines the whole way through. It's not linear like that. You don't have them. It's not like the first half is them as kids and the second half is them as adults. Yeah. It kind of jumps the whole way through, which should be quite interesting to see if they're that able to re- cut have, it like I've that. I've not actually read the book. Mainly. It's one of those books that you pick up. It's like, wow, that's a lot of pages. Um, oh, I remember I remember having it as a kid for a little while, like someone lending it to me, my cousin or something, and just looking at it like for about two years and then just be like just giving it back <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the book don't know I didn't even read the page it was no, too, it's too, 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 like, it's just, too much to handle there's just too many pages um, yeah because yeah, well, certainly the original uh, which was, was in the States certainly like a TV series wasn't it um, yeah it was released they, in a film over here but it was long yeah. as well wasn't it like yeah, it was, four hours or something like that it was three, three yeah three, three to four three and, hours and a half or something like that. yeah 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 so um, that was my kind of worry it was like shit the second part is a as long as the entire first thing put together it was like holy shit um, but I've got, I'll say right now I was pleasantly surprised I wasn't bored through any of it and I thought it was you know a th- largely really really inventive <coughs> yeah um, there was some inventive stuff in it and that just kept me going as I say the Couple little of sort good of scares. third the sort of like middle section of all the um, little missions or side mission if you will um, yeah uh, kept me going especially the first one which is just fucking brilliant if that was a short film on its own I'd be raving about it um, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true that's fair enough really cool um, well, Jessica, Jessica Chastain starring in that, that sequence and she's a great little actress Oh, yeah. Great little actress. My, how fucking demeaning does that sound? Very. Um, Jesus, I can't believe I said that. She's a welcome great actress. to the uh, fifteen certificate Captain's Horror <laughs> meltdown, which involves discrimination. <laughs> oh shit! Something we can probably talk about in the next episode, actually. But I saw the BBFC have new certificates coming out. Oh really? Not age ratings, but actual little symbols. Right. Uh, they're going to be a lot bolder. They don't have the BBFC logo in the background or anything like that anymore. Okay. But they made 15 pink. Okay. Bright pink. Fair enough, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Whatever Sometimes. that might mean. Um, yeah. Um, uh, we're having a, well, we're having a, before we came in here, we were chatting about the director. Yes. Bit of a, bit of a strange vibe going on here. <clears throat> yeah, so... Uh, we were saying he basically he's not really done anything prior to very it. odd and then it very to odd two very big budget films and I would say my theory is that the studio have just got some young whippersnapper in that's done some interesting shorts that uh, they can then completely control the whole movie yeah I think you know, it could be a shout I mean what's it uh, Andre Muschietti and Andy, I and, think it is. Andy. Andy. Andy Muschietti. Oh, that'll do. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's got Andy. Oh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's Andre, um, but he's just called himself Andy. Oh, OK. Um, so, yeah, looking at his timeline, he did a short film in 2008, made it into a feature in 2013. Four years passed, and then Holy he did sure. It. And then another two years passed, obviously, doing It Chapter 2. And uh, 2021, doing The Flash. The Flash. Yeah, there you go. So weird man I mean to have someone man he's just been fucking catapulted straight into it. he's either you know either he knows the right people or he's boning the right people oh, it's just so <laughs> or, or, or he's getting used and abused you're a very cynical man Mr Cameron I am yeah that's because that's because I, that's because I work in the film industry yeah fair play um, <coughs> yeah so I found that odd um, yeah but you know well interested to see what his flash film's like I mean I'd be interested to see other horror films that he's done I mean Mama might be interesting is it a short is it uh, is it? it started life as a short and then he made it into a feature an actual feature yeah, uh, yeah. oh Guillermo del Toro presents oh okay okay no less yeah, is it oh, and, it's got, and it's got Jessica Chastain in it and it's oh it's got that guy from uh, Game of Thrones Nikolai Coster Waldau <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, um, oh yeah, no, I, 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 you know what? I'll probably go back and see if I can have a look at that. Yeah, I might look at it. It's uh, it might might well be Bob and who knows. Um, I'm what? So you're you're giving uh, you're giving it chapter two a definite thumbs up then? Um, <clears throat> or, or or are you giving it a very mm, middle of the road? No, I'm. I mean, I'm not going to go two thumbs up. No two thumbs up. Um, thumb up I'm going to go one thumb up, one thumb across. Because, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I you know I really 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 liked it overall, um, especially because I was so fearful of the running time, um, <clears throat> and it didn't disappoint. I like, like you know I, the creativity was fucking great. And it was some really nice stuff, um, and yeah, there was some like genuine proper scares as you say even though they were kind of signposted for ages I think it's one of those things that when you signpost something for so long you almost expect it not to happen yeah totally, you totally. It oh, there's quite, a, there's quite a funny gag later on in the film as well that we won't spoil where it's got uh, you know you're making a, de- a decision between uh, they've got like three doors and they've got to decide yeah, whether yeah. to go with a scary very scary or not scary at all yeah uh, I, which I, is I, quite I bring, funny I bring that in there's actually quite a lot of nice comic touches in this yeah um, <clears throat> which does help you through I think if they'd just gone pure horror it might have been a bit much but um, there is some quite nice kind of comic relief in it yeah. um, which I enjoyed I well, have to say I'm going to say if you're a fan of the first one you'll, you're probably going to be a fan of the second one um, quite like uh, I like I liked a lot of the Pennywise stuff uh, yep. like you said it's very imaginative as well some great little set pieces now and again some good gore but overall I just I uh, just couldn't engage with the characters really hmm. despite some very good actors and uh, maybe found it a little bit dull and a little bit long yeah, uh, I think I'd probably agree with again. your assessment of the characters. It was like, yeah, I, I didn't really... You just don't really give a shit about them. You yeah. kind of cared about them when they were kids. Yeah. But then, yeah. I, I think mean, you've, already, you know, you've already kind of set it all up and it's like, right, okay, now yeah. you've got to get on board with them being older and that's older. just not really quite as interesting. Because, you know, one of the interesting things with them being kids is that you're going through all that stuff that is difficult to be a kid yeah. whilst the film's going on. Yeah, and yeah. You know, there's little glimpses of their adult lives but they're you know I would yeah I probably would want them to be fleshed out too much because it's long enough as it is yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, no more fleshing out but you know various things you know like an abusive marriage that's just not really touched on again and so it's, yeah totally yeah lots of stuff just sort of disappears away doesn't it floats yeah, away yeah I suppose when they get the old gang back together again, that's all that counts, really. But, I suppose um, yeah, maybe there'll be a I director's mean, cut that's like five hours long. We don't know. Oh God. Well, what I mean, I, I guess overall, I'm going to say, if you're a fan of the original, or the, well, if you're a fan of the TV one, you probably like it as well, but if you're a fan of the first one, you like it. It's just, it's quite middle-of-the-road horror, though. I mean, it's, mm. you know, entertaining enough to sit down and watch. It's not going to, like... I, I just find it hard to believe that anyone's going to be... It's going to be anyone's favourite film. If you know what I mean, yeah, well, that's, that's fair enough. Feel, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, although um, I did quite like there was one, there was a nice uh, little nod to the thing during it. Yes, yes, um, it was complete yes. with uh, a line taken from the film, the thing. Yes, um, which uh, gave me a little, a little chortle. A little I chuckle. Have to say. Yep, yep. I will say that uh, the other thing I'll say is that the crowd, uh, the packed cinema in the early evening in Glasgow, um, they all laughed along in lots of places yep, yep, all the yep, right places same here, yep. they all jumped to the right places and uh, kind of weirdly at the end um, some people clapped all right okay yeah is, so that, some, is that something that's going to infiltrate our society clapping I don't know this sort of American style clapping at the cinema but uh, yeah I mean shit some people liked it so much they clapped that's fair enough and you know <clears throat> let's be honest you get your money's worth for eight quid out of that that's, that's Aye, totally totally exactly well that's yeah yeah you're right I mean 4 99 that cost me to go and see that tonight yep can't really argue. yeah you can't really you can't really grumble for that can you no no not at all brilliant I've spent I've definitely spent worse worse money um, less, less than two pounds an hour yeah it's alright isn't it <laughs> totally because the film certainly didn't cost less than two pounds an hour to make no that's, it, that's certainly, sure. it certainly did not actually no. uh, I do have a budget for it oh do you uh, uh, now what did I do with it uh, has, it has uh, to be over a hundred no apparently Is it? the budget it's a bit of a weird long estimate but between 60 and 80 million right if I can uh, there you go as of looking at this article it is done a box office of 200 so far 
Oh, there you go. Yeah, absolutely stormed it. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if you see uh, sort of uh, this come back to the cinema next year um, in some sort of uh, edited form, some sort of super cut of the whole film. Yep, yep. Like it, it, you know, whatever the complete cut or something like that. Um, yeah, but yep. yeah. I don't think we've seen, the, I think when it's making that much money, I don't think we've seen the last of old Pennywise. Yeah, I'd be interested. Oh, God, I hope we don't make it like a like totally new out with book version I, I could do without that I think oh god yeah 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 anyway anyway there, there you go that's our review we better uh, start inflating these red balloons and get back to the ship John absolutely um, oh, I'm trying to think what was going to be I think we're well as I, as I speak I'm intending to put this out tomorrow which will be Thursday fantastic uh, and then on the hot in the heels of that we're going to be doing another side mission which another is, side mission which um, is very exciting which I need to which we should record very soon I will oh actually no in, the one coming out before I mean release wise before we recorded it is uh, Dragged Across Concrete which yep. is uh, I was meant to put out today but I got confused um, yeah so I'd expect that and possibly even a further side mission before Yes, we release back on the chain uh, Frankenhooker, I think. Yes, and then uh, after Frankenhooker, we are going with what is it we're going with again? Uh, we but, weren't decided. Oh, we're not. Are you? Oh God. We'll, yeah, we'll de- we'll make a decision. And it's get a, back it's to a you toss folks. up between two, or maybe we should just do both of them. I'm going to do both. Aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do a well. double bill. Yeah, may as well. Just do both. It's going to be chaos, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, great. All right. Well, I'm going to go, and uh, we're going to get back to the ship. You're going to open that pharmacy up and give me some night nurse. So Excellent. that I can uh, go to sleep well. With well, cold. hopefully there's some emodium kicking around in that cabinet. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. It's going to be a great night back in the ship. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys, and we will see you next time. Cheers. Bye just now. <laughs>